today's date is September the 25th on a Friday and the local time right now in Denver is 9 24 a.m. all right guys I am at the airport because I have a trip now guys as of the 23rd I started a four day reserve block period so 23rd 24th 25th and the 26th okay so I have not been used for the first two days now guys I have been aggressively bidding shooting my shot and it has landed nowhere nothing but bricks okay and last night guys after our bidding system closed so remember 1 to 4 p.m. daily our bidding system opens when I can aggressively bid there was nothing so I want to say a little after 5 a trip dropped in now it was a two day and it was actually a two day to Vegas now this is a very unique trip now as a flight attendant guys there are two trips that I've never done one is a uh, ferry flight and a ferry flight is basically an empty aircraft that needs to go to a destination so you are able to go to that like the cockpit um, there's like a captain the first officer there's nobody on board as far as passengers it's a ferry flight so you can leave the cockpit door open you can ride in the cockpit on a jump seat so it's a very cool thing the second thing is sitting couch at another base so guys out of the two I'm going to Vegas to sit couch now I don't know why guys this is very exciting okay I have never done this before I've seen other flight attendants come to Denver from other bases but I don't know if they do it if they're short on reserves but whatever it is guys I am so so happy that I got this trip now guys, um, let me tell you the specs of this trip. Okay, so, so guys, I will be deadheading to Vegas. And the minute I land in Vegas, I got about 20 minutes, I will be doing Ready Reserve C, or C Couch, which is odd. They have from 12 to 8. So I thought C Couch was from 1 to 7, but I'll be doing C Couch, okay? So after I get done doing C couch, looks like I have an 18 hour, 18 hour layover guys, okay? Now the next day, all right, I do C couch again, okay? So I uh, check in, do C couch, and then once I am done at 1800, I will be deadheading back to Denver. So two deadheads and then sitting couch, which is fine with me an 18 hour layover in Vegas and you know what guys I may not do anything but again it gives me an opportunity because I'm getting her DM now the credit hours is 10 okay so that's really good as far as my credit hours for the month but that per DM is what I am chasing and let me tell you the per DM guys that's what I forgot to do okay so okay the per diem or the time away from base is 36 hours and 40 minutes so that is all good for me guys I am getting basically they're flying me out to sit couch in another base I have a layover which is something guys that I want this is a easy peasy two-day trip and I'm just so excited I get to go to a whole nother base to do this so guys um that's what's going on this morning now as far as this wig I wore this wig one time what I'm trying to do guys is I'm trying to not order so many wigs because it is costly number one uh, number two I have like all these good wigs that are still wearable so I decided to pull her out of the archive but I wore this sitting couch I think but she's not a bad looking wig I'm just gonna you know bring her out and wear her again I like this little bob I forgot who was by but you guys y'all saw me with a different vlog with this wig on okay so yeah guys that's what's going on so there is four of us going and doing this trip the only concern I have is I don't know the crew room in Vegas I don't know where it's at so I'm gonna try to figure this out guys because again pretty soon I will be in Vegas so I'm just so excited so remember deadheading is the company 
providing transportation to end or start a trip. They're taking you to a destination. I'm sorry, to end or start a trip. While deadheading, I can eat, I can sleep, I can watch TV, I can listen to music. So, okay, there's a party, guys, downstairs, but yeah. So deadheading, I am basically, again, getting paid to chill. Let's chill. Didn't God say that? Let's chill, let's settle down. That's exactly what I will be doing. And so I'm so excited. I never had a chance to explore Las Vegas airport, but guys, on this vlog, I got time today. So that is what I will be doing. My gate is right nearby my crew room, but let me do a scan to show you guys where I'm at. All right guys, so I'm not facing no gates, but it is a little bit busy. So my check-in time was 9.40, already checked in. I mean, so really guys, I might go, you know, get something to eat, but I have all that time in Vegas, guys. So we will see, but I just wanted to come to you guys. I'm like so excited for this. My first time doing this kind of trip, guys. So yeah, and I will be with you when I head down that jet bridge. So you guys stay tuned and good morning, baby. All right, guys, so I am on the aircraft. Looks like we're on a A321. So I'm just gonna enjoy this dead head, guys, because as soon as we land, we have to work this flight. So again, it's always a good time in Vegas. Don't know if I'll have a good time, but we will see. So guys, I'll be with you when I land in Vegas. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so we are in uh, Vegas. It's uh, about 12.04 p.m. Uh, we are just uh, looking for something to eat, guys. We've already uh, checked in. I've never been to this uh, Vegas crew room, so it's a little bit different. Hi. So, yeah, we're just gonna search for something to eat. We got six hours here, so anything can happen. They can give us a trip. I'm hoping they don't. Cause I do want to enjoy the 18 hours out here so we'll see guys but I'm a blackjack gambler I can't even play blackjack or anything in uniform so we'll see but we've made it and now we're looking for food so you guys stay tuned my adventures in Vegas all right so ladies and gentlemen just come back one update. We have been uh, walking around, looking at different places, restaurants. I stopped at, got my Starbucks, guys. So right now it is uh, 1242. We're gonna continue walking around and exploring all these gates without going outside of security. So again, we can't be used. I'm hoping we're not, but I'll be at this airport until six o'clock, guys. So it's going to be an adventure a lot of stuff so we'll see guys so i'll be with you shortly
What time is it? It's 3.03. So I'm just gonna head to my uh, crew room, charge up my phone, and I don't know guys, there's not much to do. I can't gamble. I already ate. So I'm just gonna go downstairs and mind my business, but it's so uh, difficult. Not difficult. Let me change the word. It's a, uh, it's a journey getting to our crew room. So I'm not gonna film that, but I'll be with you guys in more updates. But yeah, sitting couch in Vegas. The saga continues. All right, guys. So I want to give you guys an update. It's been a few hours. I was chilling in the crew room, trying to take a little nap. So guys, right now the time in Vegas is. 6 13 p.m. Okay, so my phone is gonna charge while we wait, but they extended us for an hour. Okay, so again, this is what happens on couch. So I really can't complain because I still have 17 hours at least in Vegas. But we did get extended because the flight is delayed and they just want to make sure they have coverage for that flight. So right now guys, at this time, this is a really a ghost town and the D terminal. Let me just kind of show you. Starbucks closed. I mean, there's really nobody here guys. Just empty gates. Stores are closed. It's like everything shuts down, which is odd. Vegas is like the city that never sleeps. And yeah, everything is shut down. So, yeah, so that's what's going on. So I'm tired. Like I said, I tried to take a, uh, a nap in the crew room. Um, I was going in and out of sleep. But I'm just gonna sit here, charge my phone. My coworkers are, we're just gonna hang out upstairs. Like, it's a lot that's going on right now. We just wanna get to our room. I want to take a shower, probably change my wig, and then meet them at the strip. We might do the Fremont experience, it just really depends, I'm not sure. But I just want to come to you guys because it's been a few hours since my last update. Not too much going on. Like I said, I've walked around a lot of places today in Vegas, in this airport I should say. So we'll be doing it tomorrow because it'll be day two. Same thing tomorrow guys, but tonight it's all about having fun. And you guys know I don't drink, so it's gonna be an experience, so we'll see. But um, yeah, I'll be with you guys with any more updates. Hopefully, we are released in 45 minutes. So that's what's going on right now in Vegas, guys. So stay tuned, still in Vegas. Okay guys, another update, update. 7.04. Seven four guys, we got extended again. So this would be the eighth hour. So it looks like we will be sitting couch for eight hours, which is normal, right? So yeah, eight hours guys, and then we should be released. There is a flight that is delayed, and I think that is the reason why we are still here. So I've been jamming here, doing many concerts, singing the Beatles. People are loving it, cheering me on. So I guess I'll go back to singing just to keep myself awake because I'm tired. Um, but we're still gonna go out. I just need to take a shower. Maybe change my wig. Maybe that's what this is. This color is tiring. Maybe that's what it is, but yeah. Delayed flight means we get extended. So 55 more minutes, but that'd be eight hours at Vegas airport. Now it would be lively if things were open, but it's a ghost town just about, just the gates. Well, our gate that's waiting for that flight. But other than that, there's really nothing. Maybe there's food spots open. We might have to go take a walk again, but I'm tired of walking. I got all my luggage with me. I'd rather just sit here and, and sing to keep myself awake. <sighs> I'm only getting older. I can't party like these young girls anymore. 38. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, I can't hang anymore. But I'm gonna hang out with them because I don't know when I'll come to Vegas again, so I'm gonna take advantage of this opportunity. But that's what's currently going on, guys. Just me and the crew in Vegas, just hanging out. So, I'll be with you, so.
stay tuned. Okay guys, so we got released. It is 8.03 p.m. We're just waiting for our shuttle to take us to our room. It's hot out here, humid. Wait, do Vegas have, do they have humidity? I don't know, but it's hot out here. Let's just say that, maybe not humid. So that's the next step, guys. So let's go to our room. Um, I don't, don't know if we're still going out. We've been here for eight hours. I've been up since seven o'clock this morning, so. And I gotta do this all over again tomorrow at 12. So maybe if we were, were, were released at, you know, at 6 p.m., I might feel different, but I have basically two hours. So we'll see, but our shuttle's here, so I'll be with you shortly. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we are finally in our room. So let's do the room tour. Okay, there's the door. Okay, then we're going to go right here into the closet, guys. Cot, hangers, let's see. Okay, iron, iron board, safe. There's no extra comforter. Okay, then the bathroom, guys. So I always like these lights. This is good for makeup, but this is what this hotel used for toiletries. So you guys know I'm only taking the lotion. Okay. All right, there's a soap, ice, glasses. Okay, here's the bath with a shower and I am gonna take a shower. There's a hair dryer. Okay, so plenty of towels. All right, guys, and then we go into the sleeping area. And yes, I have a double bed. Okay, so here, guys, we have the coffee maker. They have a refrigerator, no microwave. Some painting here. Okay. There's the TV. All right, now, look at, they left us Perfect, fresh nap, hand sanitizer wipes. There's so many. I am gonna take those. Okay, then of course the remote control, they sanitize, they have a little sign here that says clean for your protection. Okay, so there's some drawers there. The trash. Okay, little workstation here, work area. Another mirror. Okay, a little chill section here. And this is my view, guys, from uh, where I'm at right here. This is what I see, it's dark, so a parking lot. Okay, guys, then. That is the tour, guys. So let's talk about the flight, because I really forgot. So guys, the flight was about an hour 30 from um, Denver to Vegas. Now we were on an A321, okay? So this is our largest aircraft, 230 passengers, max capacity, 41 rows of seats. So guys, when I tell y'all we were packed, there are only a few seats open. Okay, so we were full, full. Trust me when I tell you that. I took a little nap, well I tried to, but the person sitting next to me, I don't know what she was doing, but it was hard. And like, I really don't like, like I was the, I was the aisle. So what is the courtesy with the armrest? Does the person in the middle get both? You know, I, I, I really don't know. So yeah, a little elbow room is what I needed. Couldn't get it. Um, but yeah, eight hours at the airport. We walked around, um, which is a good thing. Now guys, again, I'm gonna pick up out of Vegas. Now I know the crew room. I kinda know my way around. Of course, I didn't film everything because after a while, guys, it, it just becomes boring. If I filmed every place we went to, you guys, I don't know if you want to see it or not, but we just walked around, went to different gates, so I definitely got my uh, steps in today. Um, but yeah, we got extended because there were a couple of flights that were delayed. And just in case they need, you know, the crew should time out. And what I mean by, by uh, timing out is legally, there's only so many hours that we can work a day before we're unable to work. So I'm gonna give you an example. Let's say 
12 hours. So if I time out, someone else will have to come in and work that flight. So that's why we were extended, but everything worked out. So due to everything, I mean guys, we are all tired. I have been up since seven o'clock this morning. What time is it? Right now it is 8, 8.31 p.m. I'll show you guys. And the time switched over. So seven o'clock Denver time, which is probably what? Um, see, we're hour ahead, so six o'clock here. But I have been up, so the girls do not want to go out. I really don't want to go out because we are far away from the strip. We are far from Fremont. Now there is a restaurant on this property and then and this hotel serves food until 10. I might just chill guys, I am tired. You know, I enjoy coming to a different city, watching TV and being lazy. And I know that sounds odd. This is exactly what I do in the crash pad, but I have peace. I don't have to worry about somebody coming in, sleeping in that bed. You know, sometimes it gets a little bit uncomfortable. I am a 38 year old woman and I don't have peace. I can't walk around naked. I can't wear panties and a bra. You see what I'm saying? So I can do that here. I can really kick off my shoes, take off my wig and relax. Not saying I can't do that on my crash pad, but I have to be respectful of other uh, people's space as well, right? That's what a crash pad kind of teaches you is you have to um, get along with your fellow crash pad mates. And it just so happened it's co-ed, so. But I want to show you guys the jewelry I got from that store, tags. So again, I spent $29.26. So, and I love earrings, so I got these. So they were, she was trying to get me to buy, buy three, get one for free. Okay, I wasn't doing that, and then I got these and I love these kind of earrings I like the bling bling you see I love that I think that is so cute I had a pair in Phoenix and they broke so yeah I'm so happy so that's what I got from tags I did spend some money at the airport but I did not gamble even though I'm not a slot player I am a live blackjack that's my game I don't do slots at all not even with blackjack I like to take my chance even though the house wins most of the time but again, guys, we are far away. If I take a lift and, you know, I'm not trying to spend extra money. So let me just say that. But yeah, we're going to do this all over again. So like I said, I'm still excited. I have never sat couch in another base. So this is exciting to me. I'm tired, but yeah, I got to see a little bit of Vegas, the airport. Now I know next time how to get to our crew room. And I met some flight attendants. Some people recognize me from YouTube. So, hey, I didn't know. Right, I'm not saying, well, yeah, I didn't know that. But people knew who I was, so yeah. But um, yeah, guys, so I'm just going to end this vlog. Eight hours at the airport. This is day one. So guys, day two, anything can happen. So remember, guys, when you're sitting couch, you can get a trip, you can be extended. But that's the whole thing about this uh, job is that it's very unpredictable. Nothing ever is the same. You might have a same flight number. You might work a uh, flight, the same flight, but everything is different. The passengers, the things that can happen. This job is really like this. I'm telling you, one minute you're boarding, the next minute it's a medical emergency or an evacuation. That quick, anything can turn, guys. So that's where we're at. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, vlog. Take off this mask. I am going to take my tail to bed, but I hope you guys have a good night. And I will be with you tomorrow, guys, day two. So we're going to go back there at 12 o'clock. Our shuttle comes at 11.20. So 11.20 to go back to the airport and do this all over again. And I don't know if they can extend us tomorrow because tomorrow is my last day on reserve. But again, anything can happen, ladies and gentlemen. But thank you guys for watching. You know, I hope you guys have a wonderful night and I'll be with you tomorrow. Bye.